Just one more real quick thing on uh, epoxying here. Uh, a couple of the needed supplies, cheap supplies you can get. I get a whole case of these cheap popsicle sticks. They're absolutely perfect for mixing epoxy because it's best to work in small quantities. Uh, I usually use the Dixie glasses which are about only this tall but they are out of them at Walmart so I had to pick up these uh, Walmart brand cheap ones. These nice little clear ones are really easy. When I measure out my epoxy, I just grab them and I put my fingers to the bottom and I do either two fingers or three fingers of resin or hardener in, one, in each cup and then I pour one cup into the other and mix them together. It's a lot easier than sitting there trying to put marks and buying those expensive cups that have the graduated scales on them. Uh, most epoxy, if you are close to the mix ratio, especially when it's a one-to-one, -one, it works just fine for what we're doing with this. And the last thing I use is I get a bulk bag of these cheap two-inch chip brushes, and then I cut about half the bristles off, and it makes a nice stiff brush for smoothing epoxy around on the wood. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-coat uh, what's left of the 2 by 10 with a layer of uh, liquid epoxy. The same with uh, plywood, where I'm going to screw it down to. And then after I get those coated up, I'll mix up the thickened epoxy. That way we can get some epoxy soaked into the wood, and then it won't pull all the epoxy out of the thickening agent, and then you end up with a drier bond because it, the, the wood soaks up the epoxy. Uh, that's about all I got for now. Uh, time to start playing with the epoxy. Evening, everyone. We are working on the transom tonight. Uh, I got the general transom set up here. Now I am starting on the board which will be the upper part that the motor mount will be on and also be the top deck support for the for the deck of the boat. Uh, some of you may be looking at this board I picked out and go well, that's a pretty crappy looking board with all those uh, knot holes in it. This is where knowing what you're planning on doing with the board comes in handy when you're picking out lumber because if you actually look at the pencil line here everything on this side is what I'm keeping. Let me follow up that pencil line to so see you missed the knots here. Here's the upcut where we're going to have the raised piece to put the motor mount on. And right here is where it comes back down. It's got one little tiny knot there that's staying in with it and one little tiny knot there. And then you can see the line continuing on along here and all the big ugly knots like this are all on the outside of it. So we are going to cut this out now and get it ready for uh, lining up on the actual transom board and then uh, I'll trace out the plywood and also cut the plywood out to match it. Uh, I'll get back to you later after we get the cutting done. Well now we have the transom board cut out, upper transom board. I have it screwed with one screw on each side to hold it in place. Now I'm just going to trace the line on the plywood and we'll cut the plywood off and then I can start looking at uh, doing a little bit of uh, screwing and gluing to get this all glued up and put together. I'm going to throw some uh, vertical support pieces in here and grab a scrap piece here to show you what else I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is these edges on the upper, on the 2x10 up here line up with the outside edges of the two notches here. So I'm going to run a gusset from here like this but I'll have it angled all the way down and it's going to tie into the 2x4 stringer that's going to be running up the center of the boat. So that way the transom will be tied into the stringers which will be tied into the floor of the boat so that will make the transom extremely strong. And then I'll cap right over the top of this right up to the edge with the deck right up to here. The upper deck and I'll just work around the stringer attachments and when I do that I'll glass them into place so this will be all one solid strong structure. So time for some tracing and more cutting and then a little bit of screwing and gluing. So I'll give you an update when I get a little bit further along. Okay one last update before I get, in, get into uh, screwing and gluing the stuff together. 
Uh, I took a couple of pieces of the scrap that was cut off from this section up here and made these two uh, extra pieces for structural support. And when I installed this in the boat, as I said, I'll have the gusset coming off of here down to the bottom stringers. I'm also going to have it screwed onto here down to the bottom stringers. This whole side will be sealed in the hull from the boat. Same thing with this side over here. The floor will come up to here inside the boat. The deck will be coming up along here, so I'll have this one area open. I'm going to put my drain hole right through here so that I can drain the, so that the deck can drain out into the water. But I'm going to make sure the what rest of it seals. I just have one small area here to deal with with water as opposed to having the whole width of the rear or transom of the boat that can get filled up with water and snow and everything else. Uh, time to get to gluing and screwing. It's probably all I'm going to get done tonight. So tomorrow I'll probably bring the tran the sorry bow section inside, and we'll take that and take all the screws out of it and get it marked up and start uh, gluing that together and getting the screws back in. It. Good evening, all. Last night I got the upper part of the transom glued and screwed into place. You can see all the screw holes along here. Just to the upper part. That's this board here where the motor mount's going to go on. Uh, today I'm going to glue and screw on the two outer boards and uh, this guy here and then the two vertical supports that I showed on the other video. Again, there's nothing too terribly exciting to see. I'm just going to paint some uh, epoxy resin onto the boards and then uh, mix up some thickened resin and smear it on and put some screws in. So until I get to something a little more interesting to watch going on and one that I don't have to worry about screwing up my phone by getting stuff like resin on it for my gloves, I'll then start filming again. Oh, uh, while I'm at it for the screws, this is what I'm using to hold the boat together, the stainless steel screws that you can find from uh, Home Depot. On the dory when I built it I used the coated deck screws which are perfectly fine until you leave one sit a little bit too high and you hit it with the sander. Then you have exposed metal and on edges like I have on the dory where I didn't glass over completely where I just uh, used thickened resin to cover it. I got a little hairline crack in the thickened resin and I'm getting little rust spots in a couple places along the shear clamp area. So I'm going to have to someday, not this year, maybe next year all the time, I'll sand that back down and then run a layer of glass along the top to seal that all back up. Uh, that's all I got for now. I'll come up with some more later if I need to. Oh, there we are. <coughs> all glued and screwed together. Uh, Thought of one little tidbit to give you guys. When you're putting your gloves on, put two pair on right away. That way when you're working on this, you got, you're got smearing all that uh, thickened resin on and you get it on your gloves, you can get the board lined up and then take off that outer pair of gloves and then grab your drill slash screw gun and not get resin all over it. Uh, believe me, it makes a mess after a while. I had one that just looked like absolute crap that uh, eventually died on me from all my last builds. So I buy this new one this past year. Uh, that's all I have for tonight. I'm going to let this set up and then tomorrow we'll bring the transom board downstairs. And uh, Why do I keep saying transom? The bow section downstairs and we'll get that all glued up and screwed together. Uh, we'll go from there. Have a good night. Okay, we are going to do the bow section today. Uh, pretty much the same as yesterday. Unscrew things, take them off, put some epoxy down, screw them back in. Uh, nothing too horribly exciting, so. Not really going to film much of this. I'm just going to sort of show you what we're starting with here and uh, show you a little bit more of it when we're done. That's it. Bye.